So let's dive into this. I'm using this as a reference image because a lot of people seem to be obsessed with your drawing be the same as the reference image. If it's off, they think it's, you know, it's not good. If I want this drawing to be really close to, ref to, to the reference image, I can, but that's not my choice. Immediately, these are the changes that I look at it and I want to change. I want to change certain proportions. So I want to change her forehead to, to be a little bit wider. I want to change her nose to be a little bit smaller. I want to change her jawline, even though it's very defined, it's great, but I want to, to make it a little bit more smoother and rounder. The ear a little bit uh, smaller and uh, the head a little bit rounder. So that's generally what I'm thinking right now. And uh, these are the thoughts that I had before I put my pencil on the paper. Because when I do the you know, proportions and everything, it has to be according to what I want to draw. I want to make the dark parts darker and light parts a little bit lighter. So that there's more contrast involved. In terms of expression, I would like the image of my drawing to be a little bit more like the reference image is very neutral, right? I would like to have my image to be a little bit more relaxed, a little bit more happier. Not, not like smiling happy, but maybe like a more relaxed vibe. So let's go. So this is, um, let me play the video. So this is based on those criteria that's how I uh, start to design my character and uh, design the proportions and when I draw the lines and everything else it is with all those uh, modifications in mind and as you can see that really vast majority of those I I, I am looking at the reference I am you know see how the reference behave and so on but regarding certain lightings and certain well not lightings but certain proportions and stuff and spe specifically with regarding to expression right because if you want to make the lips a little bit um curved curved upward right uh, especially the corners so that the character is uh happier you have to make certain subtle adjustments to the eyes so that it fits. The eyes generally has to be a little bit more closed off instead of wide open. Because when we smile, our eyes are a little bit closed off, right? So it's, it's tiny little things like that that makes the drawing look more natural versus, you know, artificial. And um, really, that's what I what I did with this drawing and uh, I can keep talking about it but honestly it's just uh, me following my intuition at this point it's been 10 years since since I doing this I can I have to think about exactly what I'm saying of what I'm doing it's it's like tying your shoe you you have to think about what you're actually doing but um, yeah, at this point, it's uh, it kind of result is kind of what I'm looking for, and then after this point, is basically me um, refining the features and smooth out the textures and make the whole thing a little bit more realistic. Not that I think that would make a better drawing, but uh, it would make a more attractive drawing for most people, and. I still want to keep that drawing texture in there so I didn't go too overboard with that and, I've, and I'll speed up this part here and you'll see that pretty soon you'll see that this is the end result of my drawing and this is the reference that I used they look almost like different person, right? Very similar, obviously, in lighting and posture. I mean, you know, angle and all, and, and all that. 
but I did change the proportion enough so that you would expect them to be either related, basically two different people, basically. Because um, I changed enough that I they even even though they're so similar, you would recognize them as two different persons. And that's what I do with a lot of my joints and references and so on. Um, yeah, so any questions, you know, feel free to ask. I want to make this video kind of short, to the point. I have seen a lot of uh, movies as well as TV shows and music videos that I would like to comment on. And uh, I will make those videos. I appreciate everybody who is uh, subscribed and uh, watching my con content. And until next time, cheers!